Alright, let's take a look at The Curse of Tenkind. Um, the Curse of Tenkind is a short adventure game where you play when your player character is afflicted by a terrible curse, making them die every 10 seconds and start their journey all over again. Okay, there's a game called Minute, uh, M-I-N-I-T, that plays exactly like that. So let's see how this game compares to that. Oh, this is adorable. Got the Tenkind Curse TM. TM was funny. Um, as long as you don't find the mage, you'll keep dying every 10 seconds and have to start your journey all over again. What? Oh no, I don't have any solution for that. I'm just the exposition guy. Thanks, exposition guy. I'll try it again. Do you want to talk about gates? What you actually do? Oh my god, you're the first one. I just care about opening them. Well, have you tried treating them like a person instead of an object? I mean, just try talking to them. But you might have to keep your interaction button down for like one to two seconds. You're not entitled to the kindness, you know? Damn, I love gates. I like that. That's a really funny way of hiding something. I thank you for your patience. Oh, what a sweet little gate. Oh my god, I love this game so far. I think that's a good thing. Talking is so much fun. Have you noticed it when we're talking it's almost as if time stands still? You can talk for what feels like hours and hours, but not even 10 seconds will have passed. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm Ted. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Finally, I was gating tired, not gating noticed. Do you gate it? Do you, did you gate it? <laughs> I like it. Good stuff. Walking chair is a drag, huh? Maybe you tried sprinting? It's easy to just hold down P on your keyboard. I, I like that you have it as P instead of shift, because people might accidentally discover it if it were shift. So I think that's a really smart idea as well. You know, P as in sprinting, it's pretty obvious to be honest. Oh man, I love everything about this game so far. Sorry for staying behind the gate. I enjoy gatekeeping knowledge. How How is every single line of dialogue fantastic? Doing a great job, man. I love this. Exposition guy left you hanging, huh? I can help you out, though. I'm not like him. Just head east. That way. The webcam is flipped. Uh, and you'll find the Tenkin Mage. See, I'm better than exposition guy. Make sure you tell him that if you survive all the way back. Ah, uh, go so fast. You're not gonna believe this. Somebody forgot to normalize your input direction. That means you can go faster zigzagging while sprinting. Ah, oh, I love it. Uh, and that's it. That's my hint. That'll be five dollars. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is hilarious. That's so funny. Why are you doing this far west? Don't you know the major curse is on the other side, right? Yeah, I didn't want to go finish yet. I want to talk to you. Just a bit further away from the old teleport stones. Which, of course, are called that because we can all teleport there. It's such a specific and niche magic ability, but hey, I ain't complaining. All it takes for you to go further east is to hold the home button down for two seconds. Okay, so, one thing I really love about this so far is that you're you're teaching me how to do things that I could have done at the very beginning but didn't know how to do. If you ever played the game Tunic, uh, they do a very similar thing. So, hold down home. And teleport it. Ooh. Here, I'm gonna not go east. I'm gonna. Time waster Timmy, they call me. Because I waste everybody's time. <laughs> oh, Timmy. Well, is there gonna be another thing I have to figure out to get there even quicker? Ooh, wee, I'm Jimmy. Giant waster Jimmy, they call me. Oh, man. Just wasting my own time. All the cool kids are doing control clicking. You hold control down and click to the ground to dash there. So, all the cool kids are doing control clicking, huh? Let's do it. Okay. Hey, wizard. Finally made it. You found me. It's high time you came to thank me for that curse. But of course you should thank me. You went your whole life without knowing any of your neighbors. You never had the joy of talking to a gate before. Fine, I'll lift your curse. Boom, curse lifted. Go back to your life, I guess, you. I love this game. It was... Oh my god, it is perfect. Harry... 
Alyssa Kivas. Fantastic job. All right, next up we have got Bun Hop. Take control of Bun, a crystal powered cyber bunny, and speed run to safety. I recommend completing all the levels before you're starting to optimize too much. Hey, uh, got some power left, run AD. Uh, I really like your bunny character, and your movement is very smooth. The switching from side to side. Your ears are like flopping as you like come to a stop. I really like that. Very impressive uh, graphics so far from the two day. All right. Uh, make sure you hold your jump to go higher. Okay, cool. So I have a mount of power in my crystal. I like how the timer is like in the background. It's a uh, really cool. Oh shit. Uh, so did I lose part of my crystal from falling too high? Is that what happened? It isn't entirely clear why part of my crystal disappeared. Was it because 10 seconds passed by or something? All right, so then dashing is X. Can I only sh dash when I'm on the ground? Okay, that's not entirely clear, but yeah, you can only dash when you're on the ground. I'm assuming that this stuff is gonna hurt me, but um, that's just an assumption. Duck. Oh, that's a cute animation. I like that. All right, so I need to save one crystal from earlier levels to unlock this one. So, uh, I also like how you didn't introduce the dash until the second level so that people could easily come back and recomplete the first level with the, the dash and get an easy extra crystal. I think that's a smart idea. Okay, that's kind of a difficult maneuver to do. So do I stand still with a duck and then press? Th okay. So I duck first and then dash. I'm gonna lose a crystal here, but I don't really care. Ah. Okay, so that was all of them. I'm assuming all levels can be done in less than 10 seconds, so let's try it. Okay, so I can use that duck dash ability here to save me more time now, which is uh, interesting. All right, I can't use it there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really like that actually, that there's like mechanics you're taught later that you could have done from the beginning to save you more time. See if I can do this last one. Oops. Nope. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh man. The controls are pretty difficult to do with the uh, down dashing. No, I down dashed. I would have made that. Uh, yeah, it's really starting to hurt my thumb. I'm getting better. did it. That, felt, that level felt good. I liked doing that one. I really liked how you introduced new mechanics that you could then go back and improve your times um, on earlier levels with. I think that was the coolest part of the game. All right, let's take a look at J menuing. Figure out how to defeat the wave of enemies in a JRPG style battle. Let's see, so attack. Oh, it's X, not Z. Thought it was Z. Maybe Z is back. Alright. It's weird that the first two stages were exactly the same. 
Um, okay, so that one isn't taking damage from attack now. Let's try magic on it. That worked. Can I attack this one? So, the guy at the top was the same color. I was going by colors um, as the first one. So, if this is the same, then attack should work on that, magic should work on that. But, the first two game or first two battles, the blue guy was... Did that one just heal? Okay, so they're mixing it up every time, which is kind of weird. Um, maybe I need to kill the blue guy first or something. Uh, let's attack the blue guy. Okay. I'm a little bit confused about how I did that. So, maybe I need to do magic on him. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm just kind of clicking randomly at this point. I'm sure you could figure it out, but with the time limit, I'm kind of, uh... Having difficulties. Hang on, the number isn't their health. I, I assumed the number was their health. But I think the number is the order you're supposed to kill them in. Okay, that makes more sense. So I now know what the kill order is, but I don't know what how to tell which uh, which kind of attack I need to use on them. So the kill order shovel's happening randomly. It's not tied to my attacks. It's not tied to the I think it's just tied to like a random timer thing, but it's not the timer at the top, it's just random. Alright, so I need to use magic on the first guy, attack the second guy. Okay, that that felt kind of bad where it was just like I had gotten it, but then it switched as it was dying or something. Um, Alright, so I need to attack this red guy. I'm wondering if the other red guy is also attack then? Nope. Okay, so it's completely random whether they're attack or magic. You're magic as well, I believe. Nope. Attack. So, that's the same guy that I tried to attack last time and it didn't work. So I'm more frustrated by the not knowing if it's attack or magic than actually having fun with it. Or maybe there is a way to tell and I'm just stupid. I'll have to check out that help menu to see if there is a way of knowing Purple takes both physical and magical attacks. Blue. Okay, so here's the thing is blue and purple look very, very similar. Yeah, so very interesting game. It really makes me wonder how viable it is to hide your mechanics from the player or not, and what needs to be done to make that a fun mechanic. Because like I said, I really loved Tunic's hiding its mechanics from the player, but for some reason this one left me more frustrated trying to figure out the mechanics than... Um, you know, enjoying trying to figure them out. And I wonder why that is.